Good evening. How is everybody today? Thursday. Sorry, I'm pulling my socks up. <laughs> Thursday, 7 p.m. UK time. Let me know if you are watching live. You can say hi. Tell us where you are in the world if you're watching on the replay. Um, you can still tell us, right? We like to know where everybody is in the world. We've got a very international group these days. As you will see, whether you saw my post or not last week, we've hit over 500 in our group here, which is uh, I'm very happy with. Um, because it's all about sharing knowledge and helping people and 500 is a good start, but I'm going to keep going until we get to many, many more. Um, so yeah, if you're watching and you want to let us know where you're from, comment in the box where you are, where you are, where you are right now in the world. If it's in the UK, good evening. If it's in other parts of the world, where would you be? Australia, somewhere down that. It'll be morning. If you're in the States, Happy Thanksgiving. So you're probably not watching, although it's probably not time yet. You're probably stuffing the turkey or something like that. Terry, good evening, brother. How are you, my friend? Yes, monkey. Up oh, here's a monkey, mate. 500. Yep. Bev and Ed in the New Forest, how are you doing? Um, great to see you, Frank. Fort Myers, Florida. You probably got better weather than us right now, Frank. But happy Thanksgiving, my friend. Good to see you. Um, like I said, if you're on live, comment, say hi if you want to. If you're watching on the replay, then that's all good too. Um, I need to crack on this evening because I've got a, another appointment at 7.30. So um, if you want to comment as we're going through and you want to ask questions, then please feel free to. Um, I know Terry and Bev and Ed usually drop in with a few comments. Frank, maybe you will as well. Cool to see you, my friend. Um, at the end of tonight, I'm gonna, there's gonna be, I'm gonna give you a bit of information about Black Friday offer I put together. Um, so that'll be the end. If you're watching this on replay, you can skip to the end. But if you're watching it live, tough shit. You gotta, you gotta uh, tough it out um, and wait till the end. So um, what we're gonna talk about tonight is Five things to help you live life with more purpose. So some of the things are things you have to, some of these are a couple of things. We've done sort of a similar, I've done a similar one before, which is more about finding your purpose. This is kind of, you know, if you've roughly got an idea of what your purpose might might be. Um, and then these are ways to kind of get yourself living with that or living on purpose. So there's two things, right? You can live your, for your purpose, like my purpose is life coaching. This is what I do. It's my purpose. It's my passion. I absolutely know, know what it was, what it is, um, and that's why I do it, and I love it. Um, although I have to say that I didn't, for people that are in a rush, I didn't find truly what my passion and purpose was until I was 40 years old. And I know you can't believe I'm older than 40 now, right? Thank you. But it's true. Um, so don't rush it. Um, tonight's not so much about actually finding your purpose, it's a living more with purpose. Um, but if you know what your purpose is, it will be, it will be, um, useful for that as well. So, so like I said, feel free to make comments, ask questions. If I can, I'll do the, my best to answer them. If I think I can't answer them, then I'm not going to bullshit you and pretend that I do, but I, I'll go away and find out what I can for you. So, like I said, five things. And at the end, we'll talk about a Black Friday offer. Um... So I've decided to take a slightly different slant on it. This might be, these things I'm going to share with you tonight might be a bit more pointed. Hi, Stella. The important thing is that you love what you do and you're good at it. Yeah, absolutely. I love what I do. Is that directed at me? Maybe. I hope so. I'm going to take it that it is. Fuck it. Um, I love what I do um, about being good at, it, good at it. I don't know about that. I just do my best. Um, you'll have to ask somebody else about me being good at it or not. It's not for me to say. Um, so, number one, to start living your life with more purpose. This is something you need to stop doing. And I do the, I use this question with clients of mine. Um, 
And the number one thing that to start living with more purpose is to stop doing the thing that you know you shouldn't be doing. Okay? Stop doing the thing you know you shouldn't be doing. Now, you don't have to, you know, share that. Tell me what it is. But lots of people say, oh, I don't know what you mean. And I'll tell you what it means. The thing that you shouldn't be doing is the first thing that came to your mind. You know what it is. So start living life with your purpose. Stop doing that one thing that you know you shouldn't be doing. So whatever it was. Thanks, Terry. Um, whatever it was. Right. Take responsibility. The thing you, you know you shouldn't be doing. Stop doing that because that's going to be holding you back. If you want to live your life with more purpose, we're going to start to get rid of the outlying crap in your life. So whatever it is, you might not even want to you know, share it with anybody. You know, was what you said in your head, because some people go, oh, there's nothing I shouldn't be doing. You know there is. You know there's something in your life you shouldn't be doing. Okay? I'm just holding you back. Whatever it is, stop doing that thing. If that's when, if you want to get yourself, we start, we start to talk now about being more purposeful. And more purposeful is getting rid of the shit that's holding you back as well. So, um, yeah, that's number one I wanted to share. So like I said, I'm taking a slightly different angle on a few things tonight. Um, so number one is about that, taking responsibility um, and stop doing, like I said, stop doing the one thing that you know you shouldn't be doing. So log that in your head and then, you know, as we will say, as I was saying this kind of stuff, everything is about awareness. And that's why I wanted to put that question in there, just to start to get rid of the stuff that's holding you back. If you want to live, add another layer to that, to live in your life with more purpose i put down here um something that again this is very powerful and i use this um with people i coach um ask yourself this question right this is not this is not my question i've got this from somewhere else i'm not going to claim it to mine because you probably heard it before right but this i think is very important ask yourself this question what would the future you be saying to you right now so if you wanted to you want to live with more purpose and you ask that question from the future you, what advice or what would the future you be saying to you right now? So first of all, the future you might be saying the answer to number one, stop doing that thing. What else would future you be saying to you right now? You want to live your life with more purpose? Ask yourself into the future, the wisdom of future you, what would that person be saying to you? Again, this is not something you have to share in the comments or anything like that. I just want you to think about this yourself. If you need to kind of get a bit deeper into this, what I'd say with it is you could almost write this down. You could sit with it. You could journal it. You can contemplate. You can have a quiet moment. If it needs, means you need to have a glass of wine or go for a beer, I sit with the question or let future you ask. I'm not advocate. I'm not condoning. No, sorry. I'm not advocating that you should go out and drink. You might not drink. Who cares? Um, but maybe you need to journal and maybe you need to understand or, you know, because some some people it really works to write things down. So maybe if the, the answer from future you is going to come back to you. So if you're talking about I want to live, I want to live life with more purpose. What would the, would the future you be would say to you right now? Ask yourself that question. Sit, journal and be open and interested to the answers that come back because... The reason I've added that in is because, number one, you know what you shouldn't be doing. And number two, you really kind of know what you should be doing. But if you take it to that to that that extra person and let that future you reflect it back to you, it kind of doesn't feel so bad. It kind of like a, feels like a little bit of an, an easier pill to swallow, if you like. Um, so if you've got any questions so far, if you've got any comments on what... Um, what I said so far, please feel free to add them in the comments box. If you are cool, and I'm just going to carry on. Um, but great to see everybody on here tonight. Um, and thanks for commenting so far. Number three, what I've written down over here is do things that connect to your purpose or do things that connect you to your purpose every day. And if you don't know exactly what your purpose is, what I've written down is be intentional about your life. So if you, instead of 
be perp like be intentional be purposeful about what you're doing what is it you want to do get some more clearer ideas an analogy i really really like to use is sat nav okay so if you if you want to have more purpose in your life have more intention about actually where you're going maybe write down a few areas of your life and make some intentions in those areas and i use this analogy of of, of a sat nav so when you want to go somewhere you put into your sat nav the destination of where you want to go okay so that's cool so now at least like you don't just get in your car and drive or well, some people do just occasionally just go for a drive and that's fun but if you actually want to go somewhere and you've got a definite idea of where you want to be you put it into your sat nav if you haven't been there before which is really where we're going with life right you want to go you head somewhere you want to head somewhere intentionally that you haven't been before because it's all in the future so nobody really knows right um so Yes, back to sat nav. So you go put your intention in the sat nav, but then, then what needs to happen? So what needs to happen then is you need to drive. Okay, so it's good to have ideas. It's good to have thoughts, get them clear, put them into your sat nav. But your sat nav is fucking useless unless you actually start driving. And that's what I mean is live in, intentionally do stuff. If you want to live with purpose understand why you're doing something and do it with purpose and do it with intention so by being intentional i wanted to add another layer onto this one as well is that by doing that and by by being intentional the universe life god consciousness whatever you want to call it then starts to act like like a social media algorithm right the minute you start to move with intention towards what you're what you're going to do then life, consciousness, universe, God, whatever you want to call it, starts to bring things in your direction. Because then the understanding is, oh, you want this. Okay, and another kind of, you know, and, and, and so, so as you start intentionally moving towards something, when you go, no, you go, when you go in one direction and you're driving towards that goal, then you will see assistance will come your way. And, you know, the outer world will start to understand actually what you're driving for instead of or moving towards instead of every day you know you're just getting up and going i really really want something to something different in my life but i'm actually not going to do anything about it all i'm going to do is carry on the same old routine um and hope hope somewhere along the line that i hit my destination um that may happen but the chances but to stack the deck in your favor and do things purposefully set some intentions and then set some intent and then take intentional actions and i promise you that when you start to get clear and start to take intentional action then things will how many times it happen you say like i'd really like to do this and then all of a sudden you see on social media or you hear someone talk about that very thing that you want to do the world or the universe or alignment brings starts to bring, th bring things towards you so number three do things that connect your purpose every day. Be intentional. You'll see things speed up. You know what it's like when you go and you plug something into you using like Instagram or, or Facebook or whatever, and you click on um, something you like, all of a sudden in your stream, there's, you know, loads and loads of more of that things that you like. Life can be like that if you, if you use that intention. So you want to live life with more purpose. Do things that you connect to every day. Be intentional. Use the algorithm in your favour. Let me just check on the comments in here. So if you've got, yeah, like I said, if you've got any more comments, then please feel free to share them with me. Number four I've written down over here, done before I've written down here, and this is about refocusing back on what you're doing right now. Um, and it's something I learned a while ago. It's a kind of really interesting tool when you really sit down and get your head around it and that is if a film crew was documenting your success how different would your life be and then live like that so if there was like i said if there was a film crew following you around if your life was a success story there's a success story that you want it to be and there was a film crew following you around 
24-7, maybe not 24-7, but you know, maybe during the daytime and some of the night times, how different would your life be? What would you not want those film crew, that film crew to capture? What behavior would change? What habits would change that you wouldn't want to be caught as part of your success story? Because maybe you would think, well, that's not, that's not my route to success. Doing that is not my route to success. So I don't want a film crew to capture it. So yeah, if, a film crew was following you, documenting your success story, how different would your life be? And that's again something that you can go back over this, this um, live and write down these questions and maybe sit with them and think to yourself, those things that we've gone through already, on top of that, like I said, how different would my life be if a film crew was documenting my success story? And that kind of comes back to those little things like, um, you know, what does my future look like? What should I stop doing right now? Number one, that I, sh that I should be doing. Am I taking those, um, that purposeful and intentional action every day to get to that success story? So if you were doing all of those things, the documentary film crew could quite happily come in and be like, yeah, this is cool, you know, and you wouldn't have to change anything. Guaranteed, I know I have to change quite a lot and I am moving you know i'm living my purpose and going through it but i still know <laughs> there's things that i probably wouldn't want um hey chelsea hey chelsea thank you thank you very much for that um chelsea just saying great advice if you can't read your screen thanks chelsea um so yeah number four if a film crew was following you to document your success story how different would your life be write it down then you're really focusing on the things that you do every day or on a regular basis that you shouldn't actually be doing. Number five on the list of what I've written down this evening is I contemplated whether or not, whether or not to put this one in, because as I said at, at the start of this, things need to be, I want to think tonight to be a bit more direct and for us to to for you to share with you to understand that it's really about living purposefully is really about you the actions you take the, the actions that you're currently taking that are not in alignment so bringing a focus onto those and saying instead of going oh i'm not really living purposefully well actually what are you doing that's making you not live purposefully um and this is a thing that i I had a conversation a few years ago with a with a person that was um, an author. I don't want to get too detailed about it because it was, you know, kind of a private conversation, if you like. But it was a person that was an author and the person was writing these books. And they were uh, books to help a certain part of the population. And they were to do with helping people, you know, straighten out their head and, you know, all kind of that kind of thing. Um, so they were really valuable um to people in the way that they were being described to me and and this person said to me i don't really know what to do and i've got this transcript of a book and it's just in my it's in my file on my computer um and the only and i said to this person well, you know what about if your your books actually helped someone or saved one life and this person was like yeah okay i guess you're right but you know i'm Oh, I'm not sure how it's going to be, be received and all that kind of thing. And the only thing that came to me that I could think of at the time is this, what I've written down here right now. If you want to live more purposefully in your life, you've got an intention and you've got something that you want to do. Get out of your own fucking way. Like get out, put your own bullshit story, the things that you're telling yourself, the terrible excuses, get them out of the way. Like if you, if life could be different for you, but it isn't because you're listening to your own bullshit excuses and you're listening to your own story, then you need to get out of your own fucking way. Like, it's straight. You potentially are the one that's holding you back and the bullshit stories that you're telling yourself. So number five is very straight. Get out of your own fucking way. Stop listening to your own bullshit. Stop listening to your own terrible excuses. Understand there's another layer to this, and that is understand 
that there is resistance because your subconscious mind doesn't like change so that you will come up against resistance but I want to assure you that there's nobody I've ever spoken to when I'm working with them or doing coaching that hat doesn't come up against resistance so I can give you an example I sometimes come I sometimes come up against resistance when I want to sit down and write a Facebook post but you just have to get I have to get out of my own fucking way because maybe something I'm saying tonight might be helpful for somebody maybe it might change somebody's life but if I sit and listen to my own bullshit story and got in my own fucking way and said oh do you know what nobody wants to listen to that nobody wants to give a fuck what I've got to say or wants to read anything I've written a that's me getting in my own way and b that's my resistance to that change or that growth or putting myself out there because somebody might not like it somebody make a bite might make a bad comment happens all the fucking time i'm over it don't care so i think this is really a real powerful point in if you're wanting to live your life with more purpose and that is get out of your own fucking way because a lot of the times we externalize, look for a perfect situation, um, and it you know it never happens because if we're in our own way, we'll just find when something excuse moves out of the way, we'll just find another one to fill it because that's us getting in our own way. So number five, get out of your own fucking way. I don't think it can be plainer than that. <laughs> if it's come across, um, and I've actually written a bonus thing one, which is number six. And number six is, once you've done all those things above and you've got the film crew and you're living purposefully and you've asked yourself the questions from the future and you've stopped doing that one thing you're supposed to be doing, you've got to have your own fucking way, is, you know, as you go through things and you start moving things into things that are more purposeful for you, you're going to fuck things up. And you should fuck things up. And things should go wrong. Because that's where the learning is. And that's where the growth is. And that's where the discomfort is. And that's where the purpose comes. Because you learn, again, if we go back to the sat-nav, if you start living purposefully, you know when you start going on a journey, the intention with the sat-nav is, this is the journey you're going to take. But how often do you get on your journey and your sat-nav goes, oh, we can't do that. We've got to go in a different direction. That is life. There will be changes there will be twists and turns there will be fuck-ups and when the fuck-ups come along and the problems come along you just have to keep going because that's that's learning um an old mentor of mine used to say ready fire aim right which is not the normal way around right so ready fire aim and what he meant by that is you ready yourself, you see your target, you see your target, you fire, but you're not quite on target, and then you adjust along the way because things are always going to change. So if you want to live with your life with purpose, start moving towards it without knowing exactly, exactly what it is, right down to the finest detail. Bevan Ed. Always great comments. Sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and do it. You never know if it will help someone else. Yeah, absolutely. You know, your purpose or living purposely for you might be assisting somebody else. You know, let's say, um, let me just use a different example. Let's say you're in a job you hate, but actually, you know, you're working, I don't know, in an office somewhere in a job you hate, but actually you think to yourself, well, I quite fancy working in, 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 a, in a care environment, shall we say, assisting people in some way. Um, well, but you're telling yourself a bullshit story why you can't do it. Well, do you know, get out of your own fucking way. Start taking int intentional action. Start finding out what you should do, what it would be like to go and do that. And is it possible for you? Maybe it isn't possible, um, but go and find out. Have intention behind what you're doing. So that's what I've written down. Um, I've got a little note. If you just at the bottom of this, I've just written this, um, that. Um, if you want to know more about actually finding what your purpose is in life, and I've done a whole um, Facebook present, uh, Facebook Live on this before, um, but just very quickly, 
if you want to know more about what your purpose is, like ask the people around you, ask the people that are closest to you. Think about what you think about every day. Think about what you consume every day. Think about what you you read. Think about what you consume on social media. What is it that you love doing? What do you absolutely think about every day? And an important part of this, like this came to me recently, what is it that you would do that, that, that you would forget time and that you would forget to eat? So what do you get so engrossed in that time and, and, and food and all that thing doesn't matter because you're so passionate about what you're doing. And if you look at those factors, then you'll probably find um, some purpose or, or something that's a purpose for you in your life. So cool. Any more comments? That's cool. So I just want to say while we're on here tonight that um, we at the end of the year. It's coming up for Black Friday. I know it's not a big thing in here in the UK, but everybody's buying into Black Friday um, offers and stuff like that. So I put together something for um, as a Black Friday offer. Um, it's a coaching. It's a coaching pass. Sorry, it's a coaching package. My idea was like why everybody starts in January, everybody starts in New Year's resolutions. Um, kind of why wait, why wait till the end of January, set your New Year's resolutions, try and change everything all at once, get it, you know, last for about four or six weeks, um, trying to be someone who you're not, completely different. Um, for it all go out the window six weeks later and you're right back to square one. Kind of wrestling with your own habits and being stuck in the same position um, and kind of each year going on. Pete, so if you're feeling stuck, you're feeling like you don't know what to do next, you want to start the new year kind of running. Um, but also, you know, you've got this kind of what we talked in about tonight, you've got a lack of purpose and a lack of direction. Um, then I put together some one to one, a one to one package for, for us to sit down and work, work in December together, um, one to one sessions um to get you going get clarity on what's keeping you stuck get clarity on what's the right thing for you to do next um identifying the old habits that are holding you back and stuff like that so to get you actually moving forward and hitting 2023 um running so i'm not going to go through all of it the twists and turns of it right now but if you would like the details the finer details of the black friday offer then just comment bfo below or Black Friday offer below and I will send you the details uh, because if I go through it all completely now it's going to get lost do you have it in your DMs so you can go through it everything that's said everything that's packaged up in a Black Friday offer exactly what you get exactly what you get from me how much discount there is how much it is how much it normally is all those kind of things are included I'll just send it to you you can read it whatever we can talk about it or not no problem so if you're interested in knowing about the black friday offer i put together to get you kick started before the new year then just comment bfo in the comments and i will send that to you in your dms cool have we got any questions on any of that black friday offer or anything we've spoken about so far because if not well we've done well to get into all that in in half an hour tonight maybe i garbled a bit did i did i go a bit fast tonight i'm trying to get everything in i hope not um but if you've got any questions like i said ask them either now or on the replay if you want full details of the black friday offer i put together comment bfo if not right now i'm gonna say good night and i hope you have